What the fuck is this? Hey yo guys, Saurav here and today we are going to work on upgrading our archer towers to level 9. So this is me showing you the base and uh, we have upgraded all our cannons to level 9. We did most of our walls, we got our 4th builder and there is the dark, dark spell factory. Yeah, there is this new update where you can make dark spells. There is the poison spell, the earthquake spell and the haste spell. So I'm back in gold 3. Yes, yeah, gold 3. So actually that that's me showing that I'm putting my dark spell factory to construction. One day, 16 hours for that. Definitely looking forward to training dark spells. So uh, actually, yeah, I'm showing that I am I did my minions to level 2. I just randomly got to 10,000 dark elixir, so I'll just, uh, why not? <laughs> so, uh, uh, so today, I, this video is actually intended for me to upgrade my cannons to level 10. So that's me showing you that I had to upgrade my cannons to level 10. But I just managed to get 1.5 million gold instead of 1.6 million gold. So I decided that I, be, I, was, I was going to upgrade my archer towers to do something at the end of the video. So let's look at an attack. This is the 500 key raid, huge. So this is the town hall nine, and look at how powerful he is. Yeah, very rushed and very easy, and all the gold and all the elixir is in the collectors, and which are towards the outside, and not many, no, not very leveled up defenses. So this was quite easy. I dropped, I started from the bottom left side, and I dropped some barbarians and archers to clear some outside buildings. Then I just rushed down here and uh, dropped some archers and cleared out all the gold uh, towards the bottom left hand side and then after the gold was gone I dropped some barbarians and archers towards the upper right hand side and took out all the elixir and look at that sweet elixir, look at that. <laughs> two collectors towards the top here reaching 42 percent and also got to 50 percent here and took out like managed to take out that collector and get the last of the gold and elixir and not quite uh, not very eventful but that was a lot of loot so going back to base that uh, I haven't been active for a few days so that's how I got to 1.2 million gold so fast and then I did this attack so I got to 1.4 and that's me recording now so uh, let's do a live raid you know what I have my troops trained up and let's go no not much loot Nope, not messing with this big guy. Give me something good. What the hell is this? Oh my god. This has to be the most gemmed guy ever. Look at this base. Should I or should I not attack this base? You guys tell me. Oh shit. You guys are going to tell me after I post this video. Okay, let's attack this base. So, where do I start? Um, most of it seems to be in the collectors though. Uh, there might be some gold in the storages. Okay, I sh I'll start from here. Let's, I'll take out these collectors. Drop some of them on the town hall. Uh, there are lots of outside buildings here and I don't think Teslas are near the town hall because there is only one space although there might be bombs or spring traps oh here come the clan castle troops <laughs> two solitary level 6 barbarians not a problem at all so I think I'm going to take out all the storages and then m go for that top left gold storage and that way I think I should get most of the loot although not all of it so at, uh, at this point uh, I'm dropping barbarians and archers on the collectors uh, getting a quite a half decent amount of loot from it though at this point I was really understanding that I think most of the loot is in the 
storages so i dropped the uh, started dropping the barbarians they are going in then dropping the archers to clear off some outside buildings and the collectors in the process and i think now i'm going to break into the center after all these buildings are uh, destroyed okay so putting some more archers to clear those buildings come on do your work archers i think after that barracks and the builder hut goes down i'll yeah drop a test barbarian and some more barbarians and the king he's going in then followed it up by my main force the archers which are going in and barbarians are quick to destroy the walls and uh, everything seems to be going quite good now uh okay whoa hey king where are you going hey king oh, shit oh man <sighs> why did you have to target that damn collector go for that storage come on ah, shit it's too late well at least i got the top storage king i hate you take that at this point i was like oh, no i'm never going to get to my cannons to level 10 because in this one video because uh, i didn't get that gold storage but then i i went pretty close i would have got it if my damn barbarian king had not messed up i hate you king 50% and i still made and i still let my troops die out here because they they there actually might have might be a slim chance because there are lots of barbarians over there and archers only if that wizard tower wasn't there damn it okay this doesn't look very good this doesn't look good at all let's end the battle i think okay uh, not very decent gold but Okay, I'll take that. Let's head back to base and see where we stand. So, 1.5 million gold had a half decent raid right now, um, and uh, not much to do here. I can't upgrade my cannons, so I think uh, I think I'm going to upgrade my archer towers. Uh, but first yeah the, the archer towers i think i'm going to upgrade um so let's put that one on upgrade instead because that's not one of my main archer towers okay there it goes and so now let me tell you more about the new update which has come out so now basically the poison spell what it does is it uh, it it damages the troops not the buildings the troops so uh, it it it's basically used to take out clan castle troops and heroes though i don't think heroes will be much affected then there is the earthquake spell which does percentage damage right and then there is this new uh, yeah that's the new uh, army thing where you can like you don't have to go for the barracks you can just click on the tabs and train troops and spells and shit so uh, uh, basically the earthquake spell damages in percentage like the more hit points a building has the more damage it will do to them uh, so the third spell is the haste spell which is basically used to speed up troops it's it's kind of like the raid spell but then again uh, it only speeds up troops it doesn't um and that one is under con and my and my dark spell factory is under construction so it's not showing up so the dark spell factory is definitely a huge upgrade will affect a lot of attacks and uh, I am personally very excited to use the earthquake spell and the poison spell. Uh, so um, now time for something cool. There is this new legend league. Legend league, you get into fight five thousand trophies, and the first person to get to legend league is this guy called Shaheen UAE. And you basically get trophies called legend trophies, and those legend trophies are a status symbol, and they can be never ever taken. No, normal trophies can be taken, but legend trophies are permanent. 
So Shaheen Uwais is the first player to get through 5,000 trophies. Others are competing a lot. And that guy at number three, I checked yesterday, and he was like, uh, he also got to uh, Legend League. So there have been two players in Legend League so far. Even though I'm showing only one now, but uh, that was after I recorded the video. So um, you, uh, so definitely a very competitive upgrade. And uh, and uh, the Legend League has its own set of rules. Every season, the all the trophies of the Legend League players get set to 5000 again so then basically you have a better chance of becoming world number one and there is also this league called titan league yeah i'm showing you it comes at 40 100 trophies and then it like titan 3 then now champion has like champion 3 champion 2 champion 1 titan 3 titan 2 titan 1 and i'll see you next time and hopefully more players get up to 5000 trophies see you next time in the next next video don't forget to like and subscribe